the amount of people who are normally on this block are gone because of this coronavirus. And guys, I feel like shit. I don't know if I got this shit or not. And if I do got it, then I may know how I got it. And if I do know how I got it, then somehow the symptoms happened extremely quickly. So I'll keep you guys updated with how I feel, but the street is completely fucking empty when it used to be always packed. People waiting for the bus and shit like that. I was on a bus yesterday and there was a guy with a face mask, face mask and some gloves on. So I stayed away from him. I put my shirt up over my face. When I got home, I washed my hands, but you know, it could already have been too late by then. Who knows, but it's very, I don't think it's really, it's not hard to breathe. Um, but I, I put on this face mask because it, it, it was kind of hard to breathe out here. So, it looks fucking, I look crazy with a fucking face mask on. I can see it. And the reflections and shit. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm trying to get home right now. So, hope to God I can do That guy's crazy. He's a homeless guy who used to know my mom. Probably more crazy than he was when she first met him. But I'm gonna film this entire walk home. Philly, Philly's that way. You can literally see Philly in the distance. And my dad was saying that they were talking about bringing in the National Guard into Philly. And look at this. This place right here. Every time a bus comes, there's still at least six people waiting for a bus. There's nobody. I feel like I gotta throw up soon. There's fucking... There's nobody in there. That place is closed, apparently. It was a Walgreens. There was a sign up there, but it's gone now. All the fucking bars are closed. My smoke shop is closed. I don't have my ID on me. And my smoke shop is closed, so I can't get Cheyenne's. Which fucking sucks. I thought that was a, uh quarantine person right there because he had all that white shit on but I don't know guys I'm fucking I'm fucked we're fucked I'm praying every day that we survive this shit because again I want to say again to anybody who is young and who might have the coronavirus because like I said I still don't know if I really do but I, have, I definitely have symptoms. I throw up, I'm very tired, I'm coughing. Not just because I smoke, but I'm coughing. So, I don't know, man. It sucks, I can't, I can't risk to go see my daughter. I was supposed to go see her today. I was gonna go see her yesterday, but my baby mama said that it probably wasn't a good idea because somebody was coming over. I was like, all right, that's cool, come over tomorrow. And now, I feel like fucking shit. I can't do anything. And it sucks. I, I, I'm supposed to go to work tomorrow, but I don't know what to tell my boss. Because I feel like I'm sick. And I don't want to get him sick. He's way... He's over 50. He's over 50. If I have COVID-19, he couldn't catch COVID-19. That would fucking kill him. So... I'm trying my best to figure out what the fuck this is. And figure out if I can go to work tomorrow or not. All we're doing is finishing something real small and I could really use that fucking money. But, you know, the streets are fucking empty. These streets always have fucking cars going down them. Probably from fucking Philly. And those buses come from Philly, the bus that I was on from Dollar General with that guy with that fucking mask on, so. He gave it to me. That's fine, cause I assume that wherever he was going, he had to go. But all I want to say to him is that you had one glove on. 
you had a face mask on, one of these that I have, a ventilator, and you had a clear, flimsy looking plastic glove on one of your hands. So. Oh my God. I guess I'll call this video documenting the lockdown outside of Philly. <coughs> Hold up. Don't touch anywhere except for the bottom. I saw fucking, uh, I saw a news post that said teenagers were going around supermarkets and coughing on their product. And bro, I can't fucking believe that. I really can't fucking believe that. You gotta stay six feet away from everybody. Fucking nothing back there. One car was coming up that street. One car. Because of this coronavirus outbreak, I was able to take my bike down that hill, which normally has a million cars piled up waiting for the lights to turn red. I was able to take my, light, my bike right down the middle of the fucking hill and go fast as fuck. Is that a mask right there? No. That looks like something you put over your fucking uh, face from a distance. And I'm supposed to throw this motherfucker away and I feel like I can't. But I'm going to. When I get home, I'll show you guys me taking off the mask. Throwing it away. Properly and shit like that. <coughs> this wasn't really a reason to go outside. Especially if I have COVID-19. But the whole reason I was outside was because I had to... I bought two pairs of jeans for my dad. Or three pairs of jeans for my dad. And all three were fucking the wrong size. He said he wanted 30 32s. I thought it was 32 30, so I got two 32 30s, and apparently I got a 38 30. So, fucking thing is making my fucking chin itch. So, yeah. That's why I'm out. It's not an emergency. And I couldn't even get his real jeans. I had to get fucking, oh my God.
I had to just get the money for it and go home, which feels like shit. fucking crazy there is nothing back there nothing I don't even want to have this mask on anymore because it's making my fucking face itch so much but it's so hard to fuck breathe. Well, it's not so hard to breathe. Like I said, it's a little difficult to breathe without it on. So I just want it on. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna tow that one then? Uh, they probably live there. Those are apartments up there, I think. We're walking away from Philly. Right now we're in Clifton Heights, I'm pretty sure. We could still be in East Lansdowne, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe when you cross that bridge you get into Clifton Heights. I saw somebody with a mask on that bus right there. I can't get on the buses no more, man. Fuck. I need that thousand dollar check, Trump. Send it my way, please. Cars, I believe cars should also have to stay like six feet behind them, each other too. You're supposed to do that regardless. It's called safe distance following. You're supposed to be behind a car, but you see these cars, they're tying up right behind each other. I think I'm just going to go right back to sleep when I get home. I have slept from like 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. because I didn't get any sleep the night before. And then I slept from 9 a.m. to like 1 or 2. And it's 6 o'clock right now. Actually, no. I slept till 5. So... That's all I've been doing is sleeping because I'm fucking... I'm fucked right now. <laughs> Sorry. I really wanted to make that fucking light because I really want to be home right now. I do not want to be outside, huh? I used to love being outside, but right now I fucking hate it. It's because I don't have the other fucking string, man. One of my strings broke off my face mask. So, I don't fucking... <sighs> 
Face bags right there by the car wash. That guy should have a fucking face mask on too. He's not six feet away from that guy. Now he is. He's touching the front of his mask. God damn it. You can't touch the front of your mask. He's touching right here to like fix it and shit. You can't do that. Fuck. Fuck. You're gonna kill people. To take it off now so don't touch the front of the mask it's definitely easier to breathe now I know my hair is a mess so I apologize for that 